This is the Randy Rhodes Show. To speak with Randy, dial 561-270-3844. That's 561-270-3844. Do you think Russia is behind the sabotage of the pipelines? Well, I think all the signs point to some type of sabotage. These pipelines are only in about 200 feet or so of water, and Russia does have an undersea capability to that would easily lay explosive devices uh, by those pipelines. And I do think it's a signal to Europe that Russia can reach beyond Ukraine's borders. Uh, so uh, who knows what he might be planning next? But I think this is uh, clearly a, a, an act of sabotage of some sort, and, and Russia is certainly the most likely co- uh, suspect. Why blow up their own pipelines if they can obviously just cut off the gas flowing from them? Well, there's been no gas flowing through those pipelines, although there's some gas that's been pent mm-hmm. up in them. That's why we've had the methane release. But there's also pipelines that are going to Europe that are bringing uh, gas from Norway. And so uh, it won't take much if Russia decides to go after the other pipelines that are bringing gas in, into Europe. So I, I think this might be, a, a, again, a, a sign that uh, Russia is intent on doing whatever it believes it needs to do in order to uh, weaken a European resolve. Uh, but I, I think this might be just the, the first salvo of some uh, additional things that uh, might be uh, coming to, toward Europe. Yeah, and what and what uh, you know, former director Brennan there didn't tell you is that Ukraine also NAFTA gas. They 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 also have natural gas. So when you blow up the pipeline, when you blow up the delivery system, that means no one can feed it gas. The Nor the Norwegians can't feed uh, you know natural gas through that pipeline. Germany can't feed natural gas through that pipeline, and Ukraine can't feed natural gas through that pipeline. That's why Russia would blow up the pipeline. You destroy the distribution. It's the supply chain, right? It's the supply chain issue that we've been dealing with, right? You destroy the method of delivery, and then the item that you seek to deliver can't be delivered no matter who has it because uh, the, the, the chain has been blown up. Now, who has an interest in doing that? Who has an interest in making, uh, you know, uh, uh, Norway and and Denmark and Sweden freeze this winter to break up the alliance? Who has uh, an interest in making Finland freeze this uh, this year, especially when your young brainiacs, your IT guys, your 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 the most brilliant Russians are leaving in droves because of your war? Who has an interest? in driving up the price of natural gas because it's scarce, right? Supply and demand being what it is. I don't think it's the United States. And I don't think it's Norway. And I don't think it's Finland. And I don't think it's Sweden. And I don't think it's Ukraine that blew up that damn pipeline, okay? There were two blasts. There were two blasts registered on uh, the seismologists in Denmark's equipment. There's seismologists in Denmark and Sweden, and they agree that there were two blasts and that neither was consistent with earthquake activity, that it was consistent with bombing. And Gazprom, which has a monopoly currently on gas exports by this pipeline, refused to comment, but the operator of Nord Stream called the damage unprecedented uh and you know what's really interesting is naftogaz which is a ukrainian natural gas company might have been able to utilize that pipeline to feed its supply of natural gas to the baltic states but not if the pipeline's been uh, blown up this man is losing his marbles, okay? And, and, and you just don't really want to see that in a leader. You don't want to see it in Donald Trump because what did he do? He stole the nuclear secrets, right? Can't control anything about nuclear anymore. He's not the president. Can't give orders, can't make people listen to his orders, can't do anything, right? He's not the president anymore. Well, Vlad is. Vlad is. But Donald Trump also went for nuclear secrets. Donald Trump also went for nuclear. Vlad, if he goes for nuclear, you know, look, let me let me just put you at ease in this in this uh, nuclear conversation. If Vladimir Putin were to launch even the smallest, smallest battlefield nuclear weapon, 
okay, in Ukraine, which is what, you know, people are suspecting. He would use a tactical nuke, a smaller bomb, but he would deploy it to Ukraine, okay? If Vladimir Putin did such a thing, the entire world, including his buddy in China, including uh, Xi, okay, including India, Modi, including every single solitary country in the world, because the only value of nuclear weapons, just so you know, you know what the value of them is? Deterrence. That's it. They serve no other purpose. But if Vlad actually used a tactical nuclear weapon on the battlefield in Ukraine or anywhere, the entire world would go after him. The entire world would make sure that he was deposed, removed, and maybe caught begging for his life in a basement in Moscow at the end. You understand? The world isn't going to sit back, relax, and enjoy his nuclear show. And the idea that Americans have where it's all Vlad's call is bullcrap. It's garbage. It's garbage in, garbage out. It's fear. It's totally fear-based. It's not logical. And it makes no sense. Now, I will tell you that I doubt very much, just like here when we had to think about Donald Trump and nukes, we still have to think about Donald Trump and nuclear weapons because Donald Trump stole nuclear weapons secrets as his get out of jail free card. He's black. He is engaged in nuclear blackmail against his own freaking country. But you can see the ease with which uh, these uh, MAGA people will betray their own country. You can see it. They've done it in front of your face. Tucker Carlson does it every night on his show. Uh, Tulsi Gabbard is doing it on Tucker Carlson's show. Newsmax does it. OAN does it. MAGA, MAGA uh, as a group does it. They beat police officers. If they become inconvenient obstacles to uh, attacking their own capital. Okay. So this idea of patriotism and loyalty to their... Forget it. It doesn't exist. So we had to think about Donald Trump and nukes, and we still do because he stole nuclear weapons secrets. But just like when we had to have the initial discussion about Donald Trump and would he nuke the world on his way out the door, we can talk about it in the same exact way with Vlad, meaning Vlad could not use nuclear weapons and survive. Okay? He, he, there's no way. He, he would be deposed. He, also... Just like Trump, I explained to you, there's a chain of command. It's not like the president pushes a button and the nukes launch. It doesn't work that way. And it doesn't work that way because these are monstrous, monstrous weapons. That their existence serves simply one purpose, and that's to deter other powers from using them. So understand that the chain of command in Russia is very similar to the chain of command here. And I doubt, I doubt very much that Vladimir Putin has the loyalty of people in the chain of command who would actually launch a nuclear weapon, just like Trump didn't. He couldn't. It wouldn't have happened. Okay. And I don't think Vlad has that chain of command in place either. His generals are asking to retreat from Ukraine. Uh, The people there don't want to go to his war in Ukraine. They are fleeing Russia. They are brain draining Russia. They are literally saying that he's the Nazi, that Vlad is the Nazi, and they're not going to die for a Nazi. They're saying that, uh, you know, they're, they're lining up for hours, sometimes days to get over the border into places like Georgia, into places like Armenia, into places like uh, Finland, okay? Into, uh, they do not and will not fight for this man. They will not do it. They, they, They are literally leaving rather than fight for him. They are calling him a Nazi. They are saying he's dangerous, uh, but, and all that a dangerous wounded animal has at the end is nuclear weapons. But they're useless if you don't have the chain of command. And he doesn't. You know why? Because the people who work in Russia in that chain of command, they don't want to die. They don't want to be evaporated by the rest of the world. And they would be. And they would be. Even for the use of the smallest tactical nuclear weapon. Even for that, he will be removed. He will be removed likely by his own uh, people, likely by his own generals, likely by his own uh, Duma, likely by his own power structure, they would get rid of him. But if not them, trust me, there is no way that China or India or Pakistan or any of the other countries, nuclear Israel, 
none of them are going to sit back and relax and let this pariah state threaten the entire world. It's not going to happen. So take that off of your menu of options. This is why he decided instead to use conventional bombs and blow up a pipeline to try and break up the alliance. Because he can't do it with nuclear weapons. If he did anything with nuclear weapons, it would make us stick together like glue. Like glue that you've never, like crazy glue, like gorilla glue. So united, the whole world would be against him. Don't have time to listen to the live show? Want to hear more on your schedule? Go to randyroads.com and buy a stinking podcast.